Hello everyone, welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. So today, we're going to be speaking with Natty. And hopefully Mr. Moon will... Um, will send me an owl stating that he found whoever it was that was placing all those moons. Indeed, your field uh, all those... Uh, to be included. All those demiguys statues. Uh, and we'll find out who exactly did it. Now, if it were just at Hogwarts, if they were just at Some Hogwarts, I would say it was Peeves. But from what I understand, Peeves can't leave Hogwarts, so clearly it's something Lassie. else. Is everything all right? <sighs> there are times when my father's absence drifts to the back of my mind. And I feel peace for a day or two, but this is not one of those times. I miss him. I miss running with him. I miss Matty Belliland. He should still be here. And it's my fault that he isn't. It's not your fault, Matty. There's nothing you could have done to prevent it. That is what my mother says. But he died protecting me. And I cannot help but feel guilty over that. I find myself relieving the moment more often than I would like. I believe I would feel less helpless if I could truly put an end to Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's miserable lot. Each day they remain free, they do more damage, leaving people like Archie Bickle to suffer the consequences. I agree, Natty. We'll get them. I've never seen someone so committed to a cause. Thank you. I believe we will get them. Beginning with Harlow. Thank you for speaking with me. It was very helpful. I know it's tough uh, for someone who was orphaned at a young age, especially if they were there when their parent was killed. And double especially in Natty's case, where they blame themselves. So yeah, I I feel for her. Rebellion. Hmm. So still no message from from Mr. Moon. I guess that means we're doing the uh, the next trial. Let me just check if I have any gear that needs to be sold. Yes, I do. So first, to Hogsmeade. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Oh, I don't ah. know anyone at the minute. <sighs> there. You're back. Nice to see you again. Why does this stutter so much? Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. You're welcome. All right. Now let's go to Hogwarts. Hmm. Or I could do some uh, some submissions that I haven't been doing. Let's, let's, uh, that I haven't been acquiring, I mean. So yeah, let's, let's do that instead.
All right. Pardon me, is everything all right? No, no, it's not. We only had two bells to go, but she just had to go and spoil things. I'm afraid I don't follow who spoiled things. Was it what bells? <sighs> yeah. Professor Black ordered Mr. Moon to take down the bells in the bell tower. Said they were giving him a headache. Those bells are a part of, of Hogwarts. I wasn't about to let that happen. So, I asked my friend Adelaide to help me put them back. We've always been a duo of sorts. Adelaide and Evangeline. Addie and Evie. Anyway, it was going swimmingly until Black started asking questions. Then she wasn't comfortable with our rule breaking. Now I'm stuck. Unable to tell which bell goes where. If only two bells are left, isn't it fairly easy to tell which goes where? Easy for you, perhaps. I happen to be tone deaf. Mother likes to say I couldn't ah. carry a tune if it hopped on my back like a chocolate frog. All no right. point putting them back in if they don't sound just as they did before, for the sake of historical accuracy. It's certainly an odd decree, even for Black. Taking down the bells for a headache. I agree. I thought it might also have been that they interrupted his hourly naps. That's all Seriously? he does in his office, you know. But then I heard... Can you keep a secret? I can. I heard from Alice, who heard from Ollie, who heard from Eugenia, that it's because the bells... reminded him of his wedding day. Breaks out in a sweat every hour on the hour. But mum's the word. Okay... Is it really that important that the bells go back up? Is it really that important? They're part of the school's history. Those bells likely told a young Merlin that he was running late to charms, or called Ignatia Wildsmith to dinner. We can't simply fiddle with history. We're meant to be its stewards. They're just bells. History hasn't been altered. Removing them now doesn't make it so Merlin never heard them. But Perhaps fine. I could help put the bells back up. Really? Oh, that would be wonderful. The bells are in the bell tower, just above the music room. You're certainly of more help than Adelaide. There's no path available. I imagine the bells are just inside in the bell tower. Yes, that is what she said. I should have used the fluid network. Ah, all right. Ah, the bells must be upstairs. Yeah! Hello, have I never been? Oh, it's uh, the lock. Never mind. So I probably have been here. Just couldn't unlock this chest. Revelio. Accio, Wingardium Leviosa. Ah, found them. I'll have to get those up there somehow. Wingardium Leviosa, perhaps. I found one of them. Where's the other one? Ah, there it is. Now, just a sec. Revelio. One up, one 
to go. Accio, Wingardium Leviosa. Well, that wasn't too hard. Evangeline should be pleased about this. Even if Black isn't. I can see why they give him a headache. Rebellion. Yes, I know this isn't the uh, the way, don't worry. Nope, seems like I have gotten everything here. Hmm. Huh. Oh, Peeves. Oops! Did Peeves make you jump? <laughs> yes. Peeves is such a dick, though. Hello, Evangeline. The bells are back up, Evangeline. Ah, oh, you're a credit to the school. I can't wait to hear them. I can't wait for the headmaster to hear them. I wish I could see his face. Future generations may not truly appreciate what you've done, but I do. And I hope that you do as well. Not really, I don't no. know how much this means, for me and for Hogwarts. Well, you're welcome. Let's see. Are there any quests in Hogsmeade? Yes, there's this one. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Revelio. Don't you fret, Biscuit. I shall sort something out. What's wrong? Hello? Is something the matter? Most decidedly, yes. My precious moon calf, Biscuit, was abducted by poachers up north. Oh, the vicious brutes. I tried to fight back, but I was no match for them. I'm sorry about your moon calf, Mr. Garnuff. Just Garnuff. I'm only one goblin. Not a particularly brave one at that. I have no chance against a pack of bloodthirsty poachers. Oh, my poor biscuit. I can only hope she's able to escape. Why do you suppose the poachers took biscuit? I have no idea. Moon calf dung's highly valuable for fertilizing magical plants. I cannot imagine poachers care much about gardening. Who knows what they'll do to her? She could be flog-skinned, gutted and stuffed. I assume... Oh, Biscuit. Hmm. A moon calf is an unusual pet. Why did you choose Biscuit? She followed me one evening. I wouldn't leave my side. Never thought I was one for a pet of any kind. But now I can't imagine life without her. Moon calves are often thought of as silly, simple minded creatures. Yes. But I've seen great depth of character in Biscuit. I wouldn't trade her for a hippogriff or a hippopotamus, or even a goose that lays golden eggs. All right. I'll keep an eye out for your moon calf, Garneth. Oh, how kind. I still think it's a bit weird. If only all that... wizard kind was as gracious to goblins. Uh... If you do see her and can bring her safely home to me, I promise to reward you for your efforts. It's a bit Do weird. keep an eye out for her, and be careful out there. Poachers are an unscrupulous lot. Go I should try it. and rescue Garnet's moon calf. Sounds as if I'd need to head north to find those poachers. How would you know that? Anyway, the, uh, it seems a bit weird that they would steal a moon calf of all things. I mean, though they're not exactly rare from what I've seen. How nice to see you, my young friend. Wonder who lives here. I should investigate. 
They're not like, say, hippogriffs or thestrals or unicorns. No need to race now, my friend. How do I open this? Ah. Alohomora. Which one of you is Biscuit? Oh no. This was a terrible move. Levioso. One of these has got to be Biscuit. Rebellion. Okay. Levioso. All right, Biscuit. Let's get you back to Garnet, shall we? Oh, well, let's finish rescuing all the moon cats. Then I'm gonna get the Thestrals. <clears throat> Settle yourself. I mean you no harm. Okay, I think that's all the moon calves. So now the Thestrals, which are hanging around near this giant skeleton. Rebellion. Hmm. Well, 
in the meantime, I can just check the, what I got from the challenges. Move requirement. Rescue beast, spinning statue. Bait 10 unique beasts. Revelio. Revelio. I don't know if this actually helps, but I like to pretend that it does. Revenue. Okay, just two more Thestrals. One of them is about to land. Nope, this one is about to land. Sorry. I know the rescue can be a bit unpleasant. No, no, no. Yeah, this is gonna fail. Oh no. I got lucky. If it had kept running in a straight line, it would have run away. Rebellion. All right, well, while I'm here, I might as well do the, uh, these balloons here. Now the <sighs> keep forgetting that when the camera perspective changes, the Rebellion. buttons also reverse for whatever reason. Where's the last balloon? Rebellion. Can't seem to find any other balloons. Ah, there it is. There. Wingardium Leviosa. Confringo. This looks intriguing. Rebellion. Well, like I said last time, I need to start doing these puzzles as I run into them. Even if it uh, gets me off target for a bit. Just because there's a, a lot of stuff to do, which is kind of the point, right? You don't want an open world where there's really nothing to do except fighting enemies. Honestly, the best description of this game that I could come up with is that it's a great open world RPG, but not a very good Harry Potter game. There are still more Thestrals. Revelio. Ah, that was close. 
everything's all right. Rebellion. I thought I'd rescued all the Thestrals. Guess not. Where's the last one? Rebellion. Come on. There you go. Professor Howen will never believe this. All right, now we can go back to Hogsmeade. Right after I get that fast travel point, which I'd forgotten about. Rebellion. Should be right around here. Maybe up. Strange. Oh, went too far actually. Another Thestral. Okay, I'm just going to assume that they'll keep respawning. Rebellion. I think I've been to this Hello. store before. Do you have anything for sale? That I do. Oh, no, I haven't. But, uh, what's a student like yourself doing out here? Got yourself lost, did you? Just exploring the countryside a bit. Hi. Nice to break the routine now and then. Bit of a wanderer myself, in fact. The name's Leopold Babcock, and I am indeed here to sell. <laughs> now, for someone like yourself who is also prone to wander, I cannot understate the importance of keeping some Wiganweld potion on hand. I wouldn't dare set foot in a place like the Forbidden Forest without a steady supply. What do you yes, say, my young yes. friend? A measure of safety for the path ahead? Something to consider. Thank you for your help, Mr. Babcock. Aye, let me know if you see something you like. What do you have for sale? Let's see. See if there's something you need. Aha, a broom. Sky Scythe. Thank you for your patronage. I shall hope to do business with you again. It's a good thing that I actually uh, uh, spoke with him. Let's see, broom. Sky scythe. I do not like the way this looks. Looks like I looks like someone either skinned something or turned a very strange dildo into a broom. Wait, do I have new wand handles? Arrow, brown. Alright. Now let's see if I can't find... Uh... Should be straight ahead. Rebellion. More or less. Oh! It's in here. Hello. Are you in some sort of trouble? Nearly attacked by wolves, I was. Only just escaped with my life. I need to be better prepared next time. Could use some thunder brew. I don't suppose a student like yourself would be in possession of such a thing? Of course. Yes, I have some right here. Please take it and be careful. Oh, thank you, thank you. I knew you had a good heart. I feel better already just knowing I have some thunder brew on hand. <sighs> Rebellion. God, stuttering. Let's go to Hogsmeade before it drives me insane. Hogsmeade, here I come. 
will I do without her? Garneth, I've rescued Biscuit. You have? Oh, is she hurt? Was she frightened? Are you all right? Biscuit is fine, as am I. I was able to rescue her without much incident. Oh, mercy. Where poachers are concerned, I tend to expect the worst. I cannot wait to get her home. Oh, I so miss seeing her dance in the evenings. Such joy. You've seen her dance? Wow. I'm glad she's safe now. I'm sure she'll be happy to go Poppy home. Poppy has seen it twice. Oh, I've seen it once. This guy sees it mind. every day. Oh, my sweet little biscuit. My wise, noble moon calf. And here is your reward, of course. Well deserved. As I said before, you have restored my faith in wizard kind. I wasn't going to separate a man You've from You've restored at least a modicum of my faith in wizard kind. Biscuit and I can't thank you enough. Thank you, sir. All right. That needs to be identified. Aha, one of these is shiny. So, got to go to the room of requirement and replace whichever one of my moon calves isn't shiny. Moon calf of the same sex, of course. But this one. Let's see. Uh, ah. It's the male. Okay. There, there. I'm not going to hurt you. There we are. I don't quite understand the significance of this, but whatever. Okay, and everybody else is getting sold, as the game calls it. Which I think just kind of proves that I'm a poacher by another name. Because the game does quite explicitly say that I'm selling the animals. Well, plus four defense isn't really all that worth it, in my opinion. Ah, I forgot to actually plant anything here. Let's go with chomping cabbage. I might start spamming them during combat, just for fun. Mead. Going to the brood and peck and sell all these excess beasts. And it maybe it all roads lead to Hogsmeade. buy another horn while I'm at it. Grab horn horn. Come in! Sorry if there's a smell. New batch of toad hide. Mm. Not available. Thestrals should be worth more, in my opinion. I mean, a lot of people can't even see them. I'll not mind seeing you here again. Consider yourself welcome. Right, thank you. Oh, 
farmers can disarm a dark wizard. I'm all out of the new sock, so if your feet are smelly, you'll have to work it out for yourself. Yeah, yeah. Let's I've heard see. that our dear Clementine drew you into her butterfly escapades. Unusual girl. Still, it takes all sorts. Okay. I suspect you have a sharp eye for that. All right, so next time I'll be uh, going to the map chamber for real. I think. Let me check if there's anything else I might want to do. Hmm. No quests here that I can see. How about at Hogwarts? Oh, wait, there is something here. Let's see, if this is something I can do quickly, I'll do it now. If not, why did I never learn how to swim? What's wrong? Going for a swim? Goodness, no. Though I'm beginning to think I really should learn how to swim. Can't very well be liaison to the mer people if I don't know how to swim. You're a what? liaison to the mer people. Well, not technically, no. She wants at to least be. not yet. The position doesn't actually exist at the moment, but I have a plan to change that. I'm Nerida, by the way. Nerida Roberts. We didn't officially meet, but we jeweled in a cross forms club. Yes, of course. Good to see you again. And you. You seem quite interested in mer people. I am. And they're as misunderstood and disregarded by wizard kind as goblins and centaurs are. I feel that if goblins and centaurs have liaison officers at the ministry, then the mer people should have one too. Mm -hmm. I'm impressed. Yeah, sure. I Why think not? reaching out to the mer people is a grand idea. You do? It's strange oh, for a Slytherin, thank though. You. Of course, I haven't exactly done anything just yet. I presented them with a gift a few weeks ago, and they wanted to leave me one as well, in one of their caves. Reciprocity and an offer to visit. I tried telling them I couldn't swim, but I'm afraid that bit got lost in translation. Mermish really is tricky. Hmm. What is it about the Mer people that interests you so much? Oh, I can't begin to tell you how brilliant they are. I mean, rumor is that tales about them have infiltrated even the Muggle world. The oldest known Mer people, Sirens, come from Greece. And of course, Scotland has Selkies, and Ireland is home to Merrows. I could go on for ages about them. Their glorious underwater communities, domestication of sea life, their art and music. It's a travesty how little is understood about them. Underwater music. Hm. What do you imagine a liaison to the Mer people would do? Oh, so many things. Liaise, I want of to course. know everything I can <laughs> about them. After I've mastered swimming, I perfect my Mermish, of course. And I'd share with them anything they wanted to know about wizard kind. My hope is that by understanding each other better, both of our societies could grow. How has wizard kind fallen short in its treatment of mer people? Well, we've consistently deigned mer people as being beneath us despite the many similarities between our cultures. One can hardly blame them for declining being status by the ministry years ago. Who are we to classify those of such beauty and intelligence? Okay. Well, I can swim and could help you if you'd like. You'd really do that? Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. The last thing I want is for them to think I shunned their gift. Diplomacy is a delicate dance. Now, if I'm Indeed. not mistaken, I think you can dive down to their cave from just there in the water. Off on another adventure. I can't wait to hear about what you find. I'm the leaky caves. Soon I'll see for myself. I just know it. Hmm. I don't see any obvious diving spot.
Yeah, this is gonna have to wait until next time. Revelio. I don't see anything here that uh, might lead me to the, uh, these leaky caves, as the game calls them. Like it, all, it all just seems like water. I'll get this chest and then call it a day. Revelio. All right, well, uh, that is going to be everything for today. As always, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you again next time.